Buongiorno. Buongiorno, everybody. Really, that means good morning yes. in Italian. Today is our last and final day here in Venice. We are actually taking a boat ride. It's just like a small day trip, and we're going to Murano and Murano. I believe it's Murano is more of where they do like glass making, so I'm pretty excited to see that, like how they make everything. And then Murano is more of like they're known for like colorful homes. So yeah, it should be really fun, something different. Get ready to come yeah, along. Let's, let's go. go. Alrighty guys, we are finally on the boat. By the way, we did book this through Get Your Guide, which we've been booking the majority of our excursions on here. It's super cheap and helpful. There's a lot to choose from. But be sure to listen to the directions and get here 30 minutes early because they left right on time. Like if we were any few minutes later, we would, we would have missed it. Yeah, we probably sure. have like a good solid eight minute walk yeah, to the boat. Yeah, so. it was pretty far, so. Yeah. About yeah. a quarter of a mile. Yeah, so, uh, so definitely get here early. Yeah, follow the directions. But yeah, check out, get your guys totally under it. You guys. Oh. I just want to throw this out there. If you get seasick, I probably would not recommend this to you because we haven't even started moving and the boat is like rocking. She's rocking, you know. It's rocking. It's because of there's, it's because there's so many boats like going in and out and yeah. stuff. So obviously it causes a lot of wave action. But just try. I mean, if you throw up you throw up, there's water. So you know, it's like you're going to have to like get up and go to the bathroom and stuff. Yeah. Like that's what we I hope you guys enjoyed this little island. Murano. Murano. Um, very small. It's very teeny small. Tiny. But, but it has its own little like life over here. It's really nice. So honestly. We got some pizza, yes. some cappuccinos. Cappuccino. And we're heading back to the boat to go to Murano. Where did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me. Here I am not known. How to move on. Without you, you, you. All right, everybody, welcome to Burano. Burano. So out here, you're gonna see a lot of colorful homes. We actually learned that all the homes are super colorful because it's a majority of fishermen that live here. And you know, while they're out fishing and stuff, it does tend to get foggy and their homes are super colorful so they can see it when they're like out, like far out. So yeah, yeah interesting fact. We don't know where we're going. So. We, don't, we really don't, but. We're Come just along. adventuring. Let's, Let's do this. Okay, now time for some food. We are hungry. Yeah, we are. I mean, I know we just had pizza on the other island, but uh. I found a little place, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a little, kind of just like a little bar and little small Ah, perfect. Voila. Oh. Wow. This is like a As you guys can see, again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Okay, so we got two Aperol spritz, and then we got Cicchetti, which we have not had out here, but it's a thing out here in Italy, and it's basically a bread with different toppings. So we got four different ones to kind of try out. I'm out this night. <laughs> Ooh, and some cheeks. Mm. Some cheeks. Mm. Also, we forgot to mention too, um, a super popular drink out here is Aperol spritz, which is this right here. It's like, you have to drink it when you're in Italy. It's kind of like a wine like a, with club soda. Think of that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Kind of dangerous. Tastes like juice. <laughs> yeah, definitely gotta try it. Mmm. 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 I like this one. This one is salami and artichoke. Basic. 
you smile Why? Cause I got everything I need But not what I wanted Cause I just wanted you Alright, we are finally here Ah, what an adventure yeah, um, Honestly, it was so worth it It was about four and a half hours Only 20 euros per person so worth it. Was it was really worth it, yeah. Now it's time for dinner. Yes. Dinner, dinner. So we're going back to the room right now. I'm about to get ready. So, uh, whoa. And yes, we are yeah. finally are ready, ready for dinner. For dinner. Last night in Venice. Last um, night in Venice. Kai, once again, Kai's coming in clutch lately. But yeah, he found a really good restaurant for dinner. So we're going to go check it out. It is going to be a barbecue spot, too. Um, but it looks delicious. Yeah, it looks We really didn't want to get pasta out because we still got Rome to come. So. <laughs> That's a little insight for you guys. Hi. We are back from dinner. Back in full. Yeah, but it was delicious. Hell. I even brought this back so that we can <laughs> actually show you guys. So as Nika mentioned, uh, we ended up going to like a barbecue spot. Um, again, away from the tourist area. So it was definitely in a local area. Um, there wasn't as many people as we thought no. they were going to be. I mean, it's almost like a five-star yeah. restaurant. I mean, we made a reservation just in case, but honestly, yeah. we didn't even need one. You can just walk in. Are we crooked? We want to show you guys what we had. Da -da. And then, go. <laughs> so what we got, it was a huge damn platter of steak, fries, grilled vegetables. Vegetables, which, I mean, we didn't really Yeah, touch, we didn't touch at all. It's fine. Um, we have and then also I got, like, the biggest burger that they have to offer. And honestly, I think eating everything the past couple of days, it hasn't been like the biggest portion. And this bad boy came out and it we were huge. like, damn. It was huge. Even the server literally said, uh, good luck. Damn. Guys, I've never had this big of a burger. How's your burger in Venice? Venice, Italy, home for pasta. We're having burgers and steak. <laughs> <laughs> so, but for a plate like this in California or even just, I think, America. in America in general, It'll probably round you anywhere from like 200 to maybe even $300. But here, yeah. as you can see, my receipt. It was only 89 euros, about equivalent to $89 um, in US. So honestly, a bomb damn meal like that for only $89. And honestly, we will have to say five out of five. Yeah, it was really good. But we're back in our room. It's time to pack. We have an early morning. Um, tomorrow we'll probably say good morning because uh we have another adventure coming at us yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today with us um good night we'll see you guys tomorrow morning good morning good morning guys we are finally on our last leg of this amazing trip yep we're um, heading out of venice it's been such an amazing little and interesting city yeah but yeah now on to the next adventure now so we gotta lug our entire luggage over to the water taxi. That should, that should be, be interesting. <laughs> Here we go. On to the next adventure. We made it. Made it to the train station. But missed the train. Guys, we had one job, literally one job. We missed it by minutes, literally minutes. Well, tell them why, just in case no one okay, you yeah. know, ever so goes just, through this. Yeah, just so you guys don't go through this. We took um like their, what is it called? Like their, like water, their water bus. It's like bus. their bus, but they obviously Yeah, or like a metro, a like a train, and said it's just yeah. a boat. On like the maps and stuff, you know, it told us we had, what, like 15, 16 minutes to get yeah. here? And turns out, it, I mean, it took us probably what? A solid maybe like 25 minutes. Yeah. So there was just multiple stops. So if you guys end up doing this, um, just leave a little earlier. Because we thought we were like spot on with our timing. And yeah. we left a few minutes earlier. In my head, I kept thinking to myself, like, there's no possible way. A bus station has to stop at everywhere. Sure enough, as we're on the boat, already en route, it starts to stop everywhere. We're like, yeah, we fudge, just damn it. So, yeah. uh. Yeah, just kind of give yourself at least 45 to an hour. I would say just give or take. Um, yeah. Don't worry about breakfast at your your hotel. Come over here, just have a little cappuccino. 
We are on, um, I believe it's called Tren Italia, the train that we're taking. And thankfully you can change your um, like train ticket just one, one time. time. Like for free. So we so, lucked out. The yeah. bad thing about it is we now have to wait four hours because the next two uh, train were already we're booked. booked. Yeah. So we're like, damn it. Thankfully we still have decent seats. Um, you guys yeah. will see about that. But yeah, thankfully we still have decent seats. Well, yeah, so we're just going to start here for about four hours, uh, have cappuccino and uh, eat some croissants. Attention. <laughs> Alright guys, we are finally on on our way to the next adventure. It was a definitely a mission. Um, yeah, that's for sure. It's a kind of bit frustrated uh, with <laughs> our cart. Um, only because one, storage space. So rule of thumb, I mean, if you have big luggages, good luck with that. You it's just not gotta, a lot of space. It's not a lot of space, um, which sucks. But yeah, so we're on here for the next four, four hours. Four hours to the next adventure. I'm blinded by this concrete And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go You guys, we're literally moving so fast I think we're going like 250 miles per hour But our 